Tana here and today I'm giving you my first video since I reached 100,000 subscribers! Ah! I just want to thank you guys so much because I just, I pour my heart and soul into YouTube and honestly I'm so happy! The giveaway is coming soon but I wanted it to be absolutely perfect. Do make sure you stay subscribed so that you don't miss it. But I thought for right now, let's stay in keeping with the 100,000 subscriber theme. So I'm giving you guys 100 hair tips. How about it? Thumbs it up if you see anything here that you like. And let's get on with the video. So my first tip is to throw away any hair ties that you've got that have got the little metal clip on them. Because that little metal clip can tear your hair out. Just don't use them. Just use the ones that don't have the metal clip. And you will save so much of your hair. The next tip is to use extra long and extra big hair ties. The regular hair ties, they just snap. They cannot handle the voluminous nature of curly hair, so we need the extra big ones. Never get a relaxer. You can actually tie your hair into a bun just using a clip. You don't even need a hair tie. This saves my hair from being stretched out. It means that I can literally just clip it in place like really gently, and then when I take it down, my hair's pretty much like still intact, and I can still wear it curly if I want to. If you don't have the extra big hair ties just yet, then just use a headband. Like, these are like like, it's so much easier to find like you can literally walk into Primark or somewhere like that and they always have like the little elastic headbands like I think like really sporty people wear them they thought that it was just like a headband just to keep the hair out your face but you can use that for a hair tie. sleep on a satin pillowcase it's a lot smoother it's a lot gentler on your skin it's more likely to slip and slide so you're not likely to get like wrinkles you know you can get crow's feet if you sleep like this it's not rough on your hair it's not causing breakage you can also get a satin bonnet as well and a satin bonnet is really just gonna help protect your hair and the good thing about a satin bonnet is that you don't actually need to be laying in bed like you did with the satin pillow to wear it. You can actually wear it whenever you want. It really helps with hair growth as well because one of these rough conditions in the world can actually really like damage your hair at the ends and it can break off and it can really inhibit your hair growth. So invest in a satin bonnet to protect your hair. A satin scarf also does the same job as a satin bonnet and lots of people feel like a satin scarf is easier to kind of tie tightly so it's less likely to fall off because with a satin bonnet you can't really like tie it very tight and you might find that you wake up and it's like flat own halfway across the room so a scarf might be an easier option for you with a scarf you can change it up you can make it look a little bit different you can actually wear it out if you want to you can turn it into a little fashion accessory if you want but never brush your hair when it's dry mainstream media tells you not to brush it when it's wet because it's weak whilst that is true there is a thing called conditioner and conditioner it makes your hair very easy to brush so for us curly girls we need that so your hair should be wet when you brush it and you should have a lot of conditioner on it to make it really slippery and really easy to detect so if you want to protect your hair even more when you're detangling it then scrap the brush entirely and just use your fingers to finger detangle because this way you can be a lot gentler and you're a lot less likely to like pull hair out or anything like that like you can really feel all the individual tangles and you can like pay attention to certain areas and you can make sure that all the tangles go out without a fuss I find the best way to lay your edges is to get them a little bit wet so you can either dab a little bit of water on them or get a spray bottle and then you want to take some edge control bring it forward hold it and then sweep it back. That is the way to get your edges laid. You can even use a toothbrush to lay your edges with. You don't need any fancy equipment. Just make sure you don't put that toothbrush in your mouth again afterwards, okay? Because uh, we won't talk to you if you do that. If you really want to use a brush to detangle your hair, then keep it tangle friendly. So I use tangle teasers all the time. Try and avoid those like cheap drugstore hair brushes that you see like hanging up on the rail. You don't know who they're by. The bristles fall out all the time. They're a mess and they're gonna wreck your hair. So use tangle teaser, use Denman brush, make sure that your brush is tangle friendly. You can massage your scalp to increase blood flow and blood is what carries all of the nutrients to your scalp, which is what is gonna make your hair grow. You can make your own DIY hair growth masks. You can use a cinnamon hair mask or you can use a peppermint oil or you can even use cayenne pepper, but I would recommend diluting any of those because they can be pretty strong. Smush it around in your scalp to increase the blood flow, get the nutrients flowing and get your hair growing. You can cut open your product bottles to get the most out of them. Some of these curly hair products are really breaking the bank. So I don't want you guys to miss out even on like a little bit of this product. Snip off the end of the bottle and I bet you there's going to be tons in there left. If and when you decide to straighten your hair, make sure you use a chaser comb. A chaser comb really helps you to basically only use one part of the hair straightener so that you use a lot less damage. For anybody that has straightened hair or naturally straight hair, get an ionic brush, which is basically like an anti-static brush because sometimes when we're using brushes, they put a lot of static on our hair which makes it look frizzy which means that you probably straighten it a lot more to try and get rid of the frizz when all you need is like the right brush wrap your hair the night before you straighten it this will get most of the curls out 
out without the need for blow drying, which means that you're gonna use less heat when you actually straighten it, which means you're gonna get less heat damage. When you want to get your hair dry quicker, try using a diffuser or DIY one using a colander. This is gonna cause a lot less heat damage than using heat directly with the blow dryer, and a blow dryer will push most of your curls out. If you don't have a diffuser, then why not try out a soft bonnet? I have a soft bonnet hood and I prefer it because I can literally just tighten it onto my head, I can switch the dryer on, and then I can get on and do anything else. I don't even need to hold the hair dryer. So if your main goal is to have really defined curls, then just leave your hair alone, let it air dry, don't touch it, don't do anything, don't put a towel on it, do nothing. Just let it air dry. That is how your curls are gonna be like super, super defined. If you just wanna get rid of any excess moisture straight after washing your hair, then try using a microfiber towel. Those are a lot gentler on your hair. They're not gonna cause breakage. They're not really gonna cause very much frizz like a bit more frizz than if you just let it air dry but like you can handle it you know it's just a little bit of frizz if you don't have a microfiber towel literally just use one of those big old t-shirts i know everybody's got them sometimes you don't even know how they got into your house those are going to be a lot less damaging on your hair than a terry cloth fiber towel and they're going to soak up the moisture without causing frizz instead of making like a traditional towel turban try plopping your hair instead so plopping your hair basically means just like putting all of your hair kind of into the t-shirt or the microfiber towel and then securing the t-shirt or the towel some other way without like twisting it all up. I find the best way to DIY a curly haircut is to flip all of your hair out to the front, make sure that it has been combed out fully straight and then cut it in a straight line. I have a full video about it, so don't do it just based off this little one sentence that I said. If you are suffering from any kind of damage like heat damage or color damage, then my recommendation is to make sure that you cut that damage off. So you imagine this is a healthy hair, this is a split end, and this is what it will keep doing if you don't cut it. It's gonna keep splitting, splitting, it's splitting, it's damaging the healthy hair. Like if it got to here, then you should have cut it off here, you know? You can use olive oil from your kitchen on your hair. Lots of people feel like because it's in the kitchen, you can't use it, but this is YouTube. This is the land of DIY. Have we taught you nothing? Of course you can use olive oil on your hair. Make sure it's extra virgin, organic if you can. You can wrap your scalp in cling film and that way it retains all of the heat that rises off your scalp. The heat encourages your scalp to produce more sebum, which is actually really healthy for your scalp but because it carries all of the nutrients and it's like the natural oils that your scalp needs you can use rice water on your hair oh my god rice water is so good for your hair i can't even explain the benefits you can use it as a rinse you can use it as a deep conditioner you can use it just to spray through your hair curl formers are a really good way to get like those perfect kind of cheerleader curls and then you can separate them you can stretch them out and you can make them look however you want but they are completely heatless and they're really easy to do or you can use flexi rods and i feel like flexi rods are easy to do as well but they will take a little bit of practice and these are going to give you really springy curls if you don't have curl formers or flexi rods then you can actually do a three strand twist instead three strand twist actually just means that you wrap your hair around itself people would actually be tricked into thinking this was your natural curl pattern but it ain't if you don't know how to cornrow then you can just do twists instead because you know just because we got a little bit of melanin does not mean that we know how to cornrow if you're really struggling to learn how to cornrow then you can practice on someone else and if you don't have anyone else to practice on then try getting a little mannequin head. Probably that's the only reason why I know how to corner it now. Only cut your hair when it needs it. Don't do this trim every six weeks thing because your hair will probably end up shorter and shorter and shorter. Just only cut it when it needs it, okay? You should do protective styles in your hair if you're trying to grow it. So protective style can be as simple as a bun. Literally anything can damage your hair. Like I'm not trying to make you guys scared, but like even the weather can damage your did you know that the sun can damage your hair? Yeah, like as if it's not bad enough that it's trying to give us wrinkles and sun damage, but now it's trying to give us sun damage on our hair as well. Why does the sun do this to us? All I ever did was love the sun and it's just trying to kill me. There are products that will use UV protection in them that you can use on your hair or you could just wear a big old sun hat or protect your hair with braids or even a wig. If anybody ever says to you, why are you wearing a wig? Do you not like your natural hair? You can say, no, actually, I love my natural hair so much that I want to protect it. And that's where I'm wearing this wig to protect my natural hair that I love. I know you're going to be sick and tired of this tip, but it's literally just drink more water. 
your hair, your body, your skin, your life is gonna thank you when you start drinking more water. Drink up. If you're really trying to grow your hair out really quickly, then definitely try to eat like at least five fruit and veg a day. I would personally recommend eating at least 10 different fruits and veg a day just to make sure you get enough nutrients. If you don't have time to be eating 10 different fruits and veg a day, then definitely check out hair vitamins. I don't see anything wrong with them because they are just a powerhouse of goodness. How about hair growth tea? Mm hmm You heard that right. A normal tea that you drink, like and it's got so many vitamins in it that is good for your hair and it's gonna help your hair to grow. If you're in school or if you go to work every single day then try doing a hairstyle that is really easy to switch up without really changing too much. So I have a few hairstyles like school hairstyles where you literally just do like one really intricate part and you can like switch it up and then everybody thinks that you spent really long on your hair and everybody thinks that you look really glamorous when actually like you haven't changed your hair all week. That's the way to trick everybody into thinking that you've got your life together because <sighs> you have got your life together in some kind of Way. Deep condition your hair once a week because your hair needs it. Always use a leave-in conditioner. When you finish washing your hair, I don't care what kind it is, is it a leave-in conditioner, if it's a curl cream that's moisturizing, even if it's an oil, just make sure that you use something that's gonna look moisture into your hair because if you don't, then your hair is gonna become thirsty and it's gonna get moisture from the air and that's gonna turn your hair frizzy. Don't use super hot water in the shower because that can be damaging. When you shampoo your hair, only put shampoo on the roots of your hair because that's really where most of the dirt is. Shampoo can be quite harsh on the rest of your hair, it can be really drying. So put the shampoo on your scalp and then as you rinse it out, you can let it wash through the rest of your hair. Do try to use sulfate free if you can. It can be really damaging to curly hair. When you use conditioner, try to make sure that you use a silicone free conditioner. Also make sure to try and avoid parabens and phthalates because these things are not good for us. Can I also just put a little tip in there to try to avoid products that test on animals because it's 2018 we don't need that try to get a hair scent that's specifically for hair because perfume contains alcohol which is really drying on your hair and if you constantly spray your hair with perfume you're gonna dry your hair out so try using a hair mist or a hair scent I really like this one by OGX it's cherry blossom and ginseng it's my favorite scent ever and they discontinued it get your curls defined to the gods using your pintail comb because you want to just Pull the hair out straight and then curve it around the comb just like you were curving a ribbon. You can use a vibrating head massager to increase hair growth. This is all about increasing that blood flow to the scalp and using a vibrating head massager really gets the job done. You can also use this in the shower to help lift off any product buildup and any dirt from your scalp when you're shampooing. If you guys don't have a vibrating head massager then try using the vibrate setting on your phone. If you really want to wear a baseball cap then try to get the ones with the little push through bottom instead of the ones with a clip because I have probably lost so much hair at the back of my head from using the ones with the clip like it doesn't I could literally put that on my head for like half a second like <laughs> As soon as I take it off, it's tangled in my hair. I don't know how it does it. As well as using a leave-in conditioner, try to use something to define your curls as well. So you might want to use a leave-in conditioner combined with a gel or a smoothie or something like that. Or you can get something like the Cantu Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. I can never remember the name, but that one is like an all-in-one. So it will moisturize your hair and it will define your curls. You can switch up your look using gold beads. These are so nice. Get yourself some gold beads, girl. You can make a faux curly fringe just by bunching your hair up on top of your head and styling it exactly how you want. You can definitely trick everybody into thinking that you went and got a really thick curly fringe. You can use pin curls to give yourself ultra definition and it's really easy to do. You can pick your hair with an afro comb to give yourself 10 times more volume. You can rinse your hair in cold water to reduce frizz. This works by sealing the hair's cuticle layers so that the hair is like really smooth. It doesn't let any moisture in or out so it doesn't get frizzy and it looks shinier too. You can make your ponytail look longer by doubling it up. Tie one ponytail and then tie another ponytail just underneath it. Watch YouTubers. Watch YouTubers as much as you can. Find out everything. If you really want lighter hair, then stop before you bleach your entire head. Try out woven highlights instead. That's what I had, and it's just like a few highlights here and there, but they're actually a lot less damaging because they're so much smaller and they're spread out. If you don't know what products to try, then why not try and get a curly subscription box? So they'll send you a selection of like the newest, the most interesting products for you to try at a fraction of the cost, like something crazy, like a quarter of the price. If you sign up to it through my link, you'll get a discount. You know how your products tell you to comb it through 
through for even distribution yeah you should do that because it makes a world of difference so you're not gonna have clumps of hair that got neglected or clumps of hair that are suddenly frizzy when everything else looks sleek you should apply your styling products to soaking wet hair if you don't know any other curly girls at home then connect online like YouTube Instagram is a great place to meet other curly hair people and to get advice like I tried to answer as many DMs as I can and obviously I'm here making videos for you guys all the time and I will try to help with whatever I can help with you can use mayonnaise as a DIY hair mask and that's because mayonnaise is packed full of eggs which are of course packed full of protein which means that they are really good for your hair if you're lacking protein don't touch your hair while it's drying that is how you end up in frizz town when you're detangling your hair make sure that you start from the bottom up don't try to detangle your hair like from the top down like don't just rip the curls out just don't do do not do that get the tangles out here and then when there's no tangles left there then you can work your way up okay there's no tangles here now now you can work your way up but it's the way that you're going to avoid breakage if you're trying to do a curly hairstyle and you need to separate your hair sometimes it's just best to let the hair go where it wants to go because curly hair naturally like clumps up into groups and when you try to separate it you cause tangles you cause frizz so why not just leave it let it go where it wants to go it gives you like a more softer and gentler look don't use hairspray it's very drying on curly hair braid your hair before going in the sea the sea is really salty and it can really dry your hair out so braiding it can protect it when you use bobby pins you want the wiggly side to be closest to your scalp that way they get really secure. If you spray a little bit of hairspray onto a bobby pin, it makes it really grippy and it grips in place even better. Use a deep side part to make your hair look super voluminous. Your hair products I've got a use by date is on the back of the bottle. It should have like a little tub with a number and then an M. And the M stands for months and it's usually 12 or 24 M. So that means if you opened it, you should use it either within the next 12 months or within the next 24 months. The product actually has ingredients in it that can break down and they stop working or they can start becoming counter effective if the product is out of date. So you wanna make sure that you use it before then. If you're worried that washing your hair is gonna to be too harsh on your hair, like it's gonna dry it out, then you can actually use a pre-poo. Pre-poo is a treatment that you do before you shampoo your hair. So you can apply oil to your hair. The oil will provide a protective barrier against the cleansing action of the shampoo. On bad hair days, why not try out a half up half down since the middle layers are usually better protected you can usually find some pretty intact curls in the middle layers so you can put the rest of your hair up into a bun and your hair still looks good if you are not in america then you can get your curly hair products on websites like strawberrynet.com look fantastic feel unique those websites are really good for getting products internationally especially strawberrynet.com avoid heat as much as possible do i even need to explain why did you know that you don't need to use the highest setting on your hair straightener just because it's there if you actually have really fine hair then a lower setting could work just as well for you once you've straightened your hair try wrapping it at night this is really going to help preserve the straightness of your hair so that you don't need to reapply heat the next day you can make faux bangs on straight hair too it's really easy to do and i have a video on how to do it right here if you guys Want to check it out you can fill in bold spots using eyeshadow and i know some of us have been wearing those wigs with the clips and giving ourselves bald spots so i've been using the eyeshadow a little bit more frequently than usual <laughs> if you're going to straighten your hair then make sure you straighten your hair the day before you want to have it straight because your hair might need a day just to settle in and become used to being straight otherwise it might just turn frizzy you can refresh your hair with a spritz of water and a little bit of product like a mousse or a hair milk instead of having to rewash your hair every day some Sometimes it's good to embrace the real natural hair, like no products. Let's get used to what our hair actually looks like once in a while. Whenever you cut your hair, make sure you are using proper salon scissors. Because if you use blunt scissors, they can actually damage your hair and they can give you a split end. They need to be sharp enough to get the job done. You can use satin hair ties, satin scrunchies. They look super cute. They give off a real good 90s vibe. And they're also really gentle on your hair as well. You can use sink stoppers in your shower drains to stop all of the hair going down the drain and causing a blockage. It will actually catch the hair before before it goes down the sink so that it doesn't cause a problem. Learn to love your hair. <laughs> if you feel like you wanna have wavy hair one day, then try out the heatless method. Use Bantu knots for a really easy heatless wave. Wear a shower cap on the days where you're showering but not washing your hair because the hot steam from the shower can actually turn your hair a bit frizzy. Think about your hair type before buying curly hair products. Just because your hair is curly does not mean that it's thick 
or coarse, there's a difference. Learn to French braid. Seriously, it makes life so much easier, especially if you're going to be away from home and without your products for like a weekend or a few days, because you can wear the braid out for a few days and then you can take it out and you can wear the cute wavy curls for a few days as well. Try to avoid putting sunglasses on your head if they've got that little nose bit, because that can get tangled in your hair really easily. I did this all day, like all day I was like, <laughs> oh, it's tangled again. Oh, it's tangled again. Oh, it's tangled. And I did not learn my lesson until I had another bald spot. My edges, gone. Please don't talk about some people having nice curly hair and some people having bad curly hair. Every type of hair is beautiful just the way it grows out of your hair. You can actually go to the pregnancy aisle and get folic acid. It's really good for pregnant women, but it's also really good at making your hair grow and it's a lot cheaper than hair vitamins most of the time. Twist your hair around your fingers when it's wet to increase definition. If you want to find out what your hair porosity is, then take a piece of hair off of your brush, dunk it in some water and leave it in there. If it floats, then that means that your hair has got low porosity and if it sinks right down to the bottom, then your hair has got high porosity and if it floats in the middle, then that means you're medium. You can make DIY satin beanies by just stitching some satin inside of your favorite beanies and that way they're a lot less damaging and a lot less disruptive to your natural curly hair. If you're feeling sick of your curly hair, then get onto YouTube, have a look at some different kind of hairstyles for curly hair and switch it up that way instead of permanently damaging your hair with a new color or a relaxer. If you're going to a prom or a wedding or a formal or a graduation, then watch my videos all about curly hairstyles for those kind of events. And that is it. Those were 100 tips, maybe more, maybe less. I lost count somewhere along the way. But if you like the video, please thumbs it up and subscribe if you don't want to miss anything else from me. Also, keep your eyes peeled for this giveaway. It's coming soon. I just want it to be perfect. So hang in there. I'm really sorry it wasn't ready for when I hit 100K. But actually, I hit it a lot quicker than I thought I was going to because I had a lot of subscribers come from the video that I posted last week. So I just want to say thank you guys again so much. Leave me a comment tell me which one of these was your favorite tip and if you have any more tips that you didn't see in this video then please leave it down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye